in this case I've gone into the trade show itself so I'll show you if you do happen to go into the trade show the way to get out of this to get back to the booth configurator is go ahead and click enter go up to my booth at the top center instead of clicking on go to your booth which will take you directly to your booth or to clicking on assistance which lets you modify all your 24-hour virtual assistants you want to click on this one that says go to booth configurator now it says here you're going to click yes to log out basically of this part of the show and then you'll have to log in again to get into the configurator so back out we go we get this same screen so we log in just like we did earlier except this time instead of it taking us to the virtual platform it knows that if you alternate back and forth to between the platform and the configurator so here is the booth basically you start off by clicking on this top left number one tab style your booth this is how you change the structure so we are right now I think number nine no I, excuse me that is the host home layout Ooh, I don't like that one. That one's cool, but a bit uh, restrictive. Yeah, I believe that's nice. That's unusual. Close that. Number one happens to be the one we're using for the entrance welcome booth. You'll recognize it when you come into the show. But anyway, so what we've done is looked at all the various layouts and structures for the booth itself. You can change the color. If you don't happen to like green inside, we can go with gold or blue or maybe darker blue or maybe orange. I didn't really like the color it had before. I don't know about that so much either. Let's see. Dark green, maybe? No, that's what it was before. I guess that wasn't too bad. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to pick something here. Uh, let's see. We'll go with the light gray for now. Then you can add, in this case, it's the bricks on the wall. So you're going to change basically the accent of it. So we can go with lighter bricks, or I'll just go back to the bricks. And then you can, of course, change the floor. We'll go with that color. So when you're all done, you press the Save Configuration button down here. And now we have changed or accepted a shape of the booth that we like the best. Change the color, change the, of the wall, the floor, and the structure itself. Then you go up here to the Center tab. And when you click on one of these, it'll bring up this uh, box. And so you need to choose an image, and it'll tell you what size it needs to be. Now, these we've already renamed and, and sized because we built them, and I can help you with that. So don't worry about it as far as getting too worried, stressed on getting these set up. If you come up with photos or images or graphics or anything, I can set them up where they'll go in the booth if you need help. So anyway, got all this. You have to, if you choose one of the wrong size ones, I'm gonna, it won't let me for one thing. So I've got the only one I can choose in this case is this one. You say OK. Then we can connect that to a, a uh, another image. In fact, if you click this, it connects the image to itself. And you can choose a file if you want to change it to something else. I don't know why you'd want to. We're going to do that for something weird. Or. We can make it a web link, which web link, in which case we'll go uh, uh, HTTP energystar.gov. That's not the right thing, but so what we've done is you'll notice that if you hover over this number one, if you're seeing it very easy, but it is turning this one edit poster number one kind of a yellow color. Let me do it again. You see it? Uh, so if we go to number two, the one next to it turns yellow. Number three, the one on the far wall turns yellow. Number four makes the 
one on the far right, five far left, the top banner, another top banner. These are small pictures, like we're on the very far right. Now remember, we made we made a change to this number one, so we will check our change here when we get into the, the pavilion itself and look at it. So now we've made a couple changes. I'm going to hit save again. Then when you get over here to the link side, oops, I got to say okay to the configuration. So you get to the link side, you can add brochures. So let's say let's just pick this one, Homeowner's Guide to Home Energy Equity. We'll say okay, okay. Now we have a brochure. Brochures show up here on the yellow brochure pedestal. Video. Well, do we have a video? Well, let's see if we can grab one. <laughs> there may not be any videos in here. Okay, none are uploaded. So if we don't have a video, the video screen, I'm just exiting out here. The video screen that could show up here won't. So we see where these video things are. Edit, video, edit. edit videos. I'm trying to talk fast and messing up here. The edit videos screen will also bring this up. I could grab a video to show you, but we can see a video once we get into the pavilion. Product is the product cube, which is this hot pink one. I can click on the product cube, or I can click over here, and it'll bring up the same screen. We can add a product. Uh, I don't know if I have anything to put in here. You name it, you describe it, and then you have to find an image. So let's say, uh, I don't know if I want to do uh, Let's just do this one. Click on floating cube. That'll bring up an image. Floating cube image. That's what we want to call this. I'll we'll say OK. We can describe it too if we want to. But. So now it says a floating cube image. We know it's a photo. And then this, these things I'll describe another day. Just put in your image that you want people to see. Say OK. Now that's in the product cube. Info and contact is where you put your information. If you have a question or want to order a book, because this is a bit left over from the old bookstore, that we that I'm letting you use this now until we get the new pavilion, then we'll set your silver booth up totally for the fall or for the spring show. Anyway, this has my ordering information for books. I don't need to change it. Bulletin board is where you can put information about what's going on, either current or, you know, uh, uh, like future, like let's say, meeting in this booth tomorrow, uh, March, whatever it would be, 22nd. 2017. I'm dating this video, obviously. And the message would be, meet here to visit with Paul G from 2 or 3 to 6 p.m. This is, I'm just writing Central Standard Time for more info about BuildSmart. Now, I have made this a bulletin board message, so I'll say OK. Bulletin board is right here by the assistant. These may not be clear yet because, um, well, you can't see it very well, I'm sure. Now, you can move this pavilion around if you, you want to get a closer look. You can go into it. You can go back away from it. We can turn the thing. It's like you're using SketchUp, basically. So if you know how to use SketchUp, you basically can use this or any kind of tool similar to it, so any kind of CAD tool. Okay, so we're going to hit save one more time. Always make sure you save. Now, we're done here, so you don't want to click this. This exits, which logs you out, basically. What we want to do is click over here where it says return to the virtual reality place, which, of course, is our platform. Click OK to return to the VR place. OK. You'll notice that it takes us right back to where we logged in in the first place. And since we have the Remember Me uh, box checked, it's going to let us just log in again without having to sign in again. Now, this time when we go into the pavilion, we're going to look at the booth that we just worked on. 
Okay, I think I've shown you this before. You can up, down, right, left moves your avatar. You can go faster to hold the shift down when you press the up, down, right, left. Spacebar changes the view that your avatar is seeing. You can teleport via the map or teleport via search or we'll go in. Here's our avatar that was created. If we go up here to my booth like we did earlier, instead of going to booth configurator, we're going to go to the go to your booth part. Boom. This is the booth that we just played with. If we go to this product cube and click on it, it'll bring up the floating cube image that I put in there. Let's see. And there it is. Not too uh, pretty, but there it is. It's a, it's just a very pixelated image, but it doesn't matter. So the brochures thing, we put in the Homeowner's Guide to Home Energy Equity. If you click on this, you can either download it or you can put it in your show bag. So I'm going to add it to the show bag for me. I did that. So now what this means is when your attendees come, you can put a number of PDFs in here, brochures and all about your products. And then they can put it in the show bags, which is down here on the bottom, second from the right. And then they click on that and it brings up the show bag. And they've got the contacts that they make in the show. They got the brochures that they downloaded. They got the products that they've downloaded and the analytics. And for some reason, the analytics is their own analytics, by the way, not yours as a booth owner. Well, it would, it would be yours once you sign out and look at the analytics overall. This is the analytics based on your avatar's movements. I thought we had saved that. It's not showing. Hmm. Well, maybe it's because I can't save it to my own. I probably can't save it anything like that to my own bag. But we also, when we go into the booth, because you actually have to walk into the booth to click on some of the things, it won't let you do it until you get closer. Now that I walk to the booth, it's actually tracking my move movements in terms of analytics. What I look at, how long I stay in the booth, things like that. Now if you remember this this thing, we made a web link to energystar.gloves. Glove. Gov. You can tell I'm bringing this at almost 10 o'clock at night. So, then it says this, oops, don't worry about it. If the window doesn't pop up, click here. Right now it's because we're, we're in signing in as ourselves, clicking on our own stuff, so it's a little fussy. The attendees and I won't have any problem. But you can see we put in that as to go to the web length of energystar.gov, and now that we're in the booth and clicked on it, sure enough, it took us to energystar.gov. And, of course, this one could take us to another web link or to a PDF, or in this case, we just had it click and show an image of itself. And so if I scroll or push the scroll bar up, it'll zoom in, and then I can grab this and move it around. Really not helpful in this particular picture, but some of them, you might have a lot of fine print. And if you click on it, it gives you the image. Here's a decent one. You've got some smaller print here. It's hard for people to read it on the wall. They can bring it up bigger and make it easier to read the small print. So all kinds of built-in stuff. Now to get the rotator, if you want to have products, you want them to spin around. Like maybe you want to have a wall section with a window in it, and you want them to look at both sides of the construction. You have to take several pictures of the front, the side, and the back. And then the system stitches them together and makes a smooth image rotator, which is pretty cool. But you have to have several pictures to stitch it together, so especially front, back, and both sides. You need more than that, really, to make it work right. But we won't go into that in detail either right now. So bottom right here is the map. So people will come in here where this green icon is. I'll click on it. This is back to the beginning where we first started. This is the welcome booth that I told you that if you uh, roll backwards here, if you recognize it, you probably will recognize it as the number one shape that we chose for the other booth. Go ahead and turn that. Walk in and turn a little bit. There we go. So you have a pretty good idea how to build your booth now. I know you'll have questions, but really it just comes down to playing with the thing. You can't break it. So log in to your booth configurator fiddle with it and add stuff to it and play with it because you have a month and a half to play with this thing to add brochures. If you decide you want to have a couple, one or two or three of your products that you want to have in the image rotator, you just have to take some photos and 
and uh, I can help you with that when you're ready. But meanwhile, you can have PDFs, brochures, product literature, videos, anything that you want to have in your booth, as long as you have them, the original pieces created, or original video created, so that you can upload it. And with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this logout function on the top right and log out now. Say yes, and we are gone.